and gentlemen of the nocturnal i am julian cannon and today i have roxy diaz here tell the world how you are doing i'm doing amazing i'm happy i'm here to talk about cannonball all things cannonball on the usa network so it's a lot of fun it's a great day for me <laughs> i love the show in fact um, yourself and the miz do a very great job hosting the show so what is it like to work with the wwe superstar the miz miz is awesome he is all of the awesomeness that he can be uh just picture a four-year-old hyped up on halloween candy and they want to get all that energy out that's the miz he's so much fun he, <laughs> he brings the show to the next level you know and our sideline reporter simon gibson he's equally amazing he's going to be a household name if he isn't already it's just so much fun to work with all the guys they're, they're awesome they really are great and the usa network is the best network to be with oh yeah <laughs> you know how was the show pitched to you well i got a call from my agent and they were like hey there's this new show it's a water competition i was like okay i want to see it i like the water and uh yeah they were looking for somebody to to sit alongside Miz. so went in and we had a chemistry test and our chemistry was great from day one we had a lot of fun together i could tell because water parks and hosting game shows are Kind of two two uh, mediums I could say that are very fun. I wish I could host a game show. <laughs> a game show, you never know. You probably can, but that's where we're at right now. You know, it's fun. It's family fun. It's something you could sit around with your family, your friends, if you have kids, you know, young brothers, young sisters, nieces, and nephews. It's just a fun, fun, fun show that you don't have to worry about having to flip the channel because something bad is going to come on and you don't want them to see it. It's fun. It's all fun. You get to see people wipe out and do crazy things. They, they do crazy cannonballs, belly flops <laughs> for $10,000 that are on the line. And it's everyday people that are on the show. So who are your favorite contestants on the show? Oh, uh, I've had so many favorites. We had Armando, who was like our human cannonball because he literally had a belly and was shaped like a <laughs> human cannonball. He was so much fun to have on the show. Uh, we had, uh, oh my gosh, I, I'm blanking. We've had a pineapple enthusiast on the show. She just loved pineapples. We've had a cat daddy on the show because uh, he had two cats at home. Uh, just so many people literally that were on the oyster shuckers and, <laughs> and uh, just uh, heavy metal grips that just go on tour. And we've had policemen, firefighters, stunt doubles, all box models. It's just been insane. Where was the show filmed at? We filmed here in LA. We filmed that at uh, Aqueduct Center that's a little bit north of Los Angeles. And it was awesome what the show did to, to completely build that set. I mean, they built that 80 foot mega slide right on this, on this Aqueduct Center in this lake. And we just, we totally made a whole water park, a uh, Cannonball Bay. It was awesome. I would also have to like to ask you this, since this show has to also deal with water parks. Do you like water parks? I love water parks. When I grew up in New Orleans, there was a water park near us in Baton Rouge called Blue Bayou. And we used to always, when we could, go to Blue Bayou and, and be on the slides. And I remember waiting in line and wanting to go on the biggest and the fastest slide. And that's what Cannonball is. It's the biggest, it's the fastest, it's the craziest <laughs> water park that you've ever, ever experienced in life and probably would want to experience in life. But we don't have those lines. That's the best part. No, last time I went to a water park was two years ago. This was upper state New York. And let's just say uh -huh. I had a bad scab from coming down a slide. <laughs> Ooh, you probably didn't put your legs up like you were supposed to do. <laughs> you weren't wearing the right attire. We're very particular about that on the show. <laughs> the thing is, I wore the right attire. The thing is, someone left an object on that slide. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you don't As worry I was coming about down. that on Cannonball. Yeah, we don't have none of that. Sometimes we have the occasional duck flying into the shot, but we can't control Mother Nature. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, so I want to ask you, what are some things you've been doing ever since you've been quarantining? Um, I've been spending time at home. I've been quarantining and social distancing. Um, the only people I spend time with are, are people that I know that have been doing the same with me. Uh, I had my mom with me, so we were doing a lot of cooking, uh, a lot of streaming, a lot of, you know, just spending quality time, lots of puzzles were made, you know, and, and having fun like that. But definitely, you know, taking heed to the situation that we're in right now. And it's really important to stay home, quarantine, even though we don't want to do it. It's nice outside, it's the summertime, but 
we're not going to get over this if we don't work together. And, you know, speaking of quarantine, are there some things that you picked up picked up on that you have never done before that came to your mind um, since the shutdown happened? Not, uh, nothing really that comes to mind. I, I did try being a, a crazy like OCD organ, organizational person, like organizing everything because I was going on YouTube videos and watching people how they organize their refrigerator. So me and the <laughs> container store have become friends like a lot. <laughs> there's some things that I've picked up on but I would have to say I'm, one of the most important things I picked up on was yoga I started doing it because my, my back Ooh. had a lot of pain before I, before the shutdown happened so I picked up yoga and it's been a blessing for me <laughs> that's awesome I'm, I've never maybe I should try that too because I'm really bad at yoga <laughs> now what's the first thing you will do once this whole pandemic f goes over Oh, probably take a trip somewhere. Yeah, I'm I'm ready and itching, but I'm not cool with getting on planes just yet. I'm not I'm not there yet. Even though people are doing it and traveling, and I'm 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 not there yet. I rather I rather wait. It's worth the wait. <laughs> you know, going back to the Miz, since he's a WWE superstar, have you ever seen yourself inside a WWE ring? Um, no. I've seen myself in a boxing ring many many <laughs> times because I'm a boxing correspondent. But uh, the wrestling ring, yeah, I don't think so. That was kind of aggressive for me, uh, for me personally to do it. Now to go and watch them and hang out with the WWE superstars, I totally would do that because I'm a wrestling fan. I grew up watching wrestling when I was a oh, kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's changed a lot now, but, uh, but yeah, I, I'll go just to check out my boy The Miz. <laughs> Who's your favorite WWE superstar? Because I, I got too much of a bucket list of my favorites, but I want to hear your favorites. <laughs> Uh, my favorite is Mike the Miz, and I'm not allowed to have any other superstar <laughs> that is my favorite other than Mike the Miz. So, I mean, when I was a kid, of course, I liked Randy Man Savage and Hulk Hogan and, you know, the real Undertaker, the old school Undertaker. Uh, so it, it's like my mind goes kind of back in the day. But, of course, right now, the Miz is the man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know, years down the line after you're at a point where you can say, I'm blessed that this whole career happened for me because you've also hosted, you've been on 106 and Park and other shows I've seen you on. Years down the line when people start asking you what's the best advice you could give them, what would it be? Keep going. Keep going. Keep reinventing yourself. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop at all. <laughs> you know, speaking of 106 and Park, do you have any funny stories of Terrence? Uh, <laughs> uh, too many. Terrence and I have, uh, we have a real brother-sister relationship, especially during the time of the show. Uh, we really leaned on each other and we were each other's confidant and best friends. We were very tight circle. Um, uh, but I miss, you know, being in my dressing room and he just walks in and takes my mouthwash or takes my underarm deodorant and walks out. You know, that was Terrence. You know, that, that was, or, oh, hey, what you're eating and takes french fries out of my plate or you know or we were like hey let's go get something to eat we don't eat and we're we're uh taking breaks during the show so like sometimes when you would only see terrence on the show and i right. was on, <laughs> on the side it was because i was in the back eating pizza and then i would come out and be like okay it's your turn and then he would go back and eat pizza and then i would be hosting so uh, it's like things like that that i that i miss Oh my God, I miss the show so much. I really do. I was a teenager yeah. when I first seen it about 15, 16 years ago. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun show. It was a lot of fun. Now, my final question that's related to Cannonball, since you told me you've seen how they put up the entire slide there, have you thought about going up to that slide yourself and going down? Oh, thought about it every time we went on set. I mean, you can't help but to drive up on set and be like, I want to go up here. I want to go down the slide, but they would not let us. They were like, nope. You guys can't do it. Sorry, not for you. So we're crossing our fingers that season two, we're allowed to go down the mega slide. But in order for that to happen, we need everybody to watch Cannonball 8, 7 Central on USA Network on Thursdays. And this Thursday, we have a special back-to-back -back episode. Ooh. So you got to definitely check it out. And there's always another episode on NBC every Monday night, too. <laughs> Any final closing thoughts before we go? No, just keep on watching Cannibal, guys. We need your support. <laughs> we need your love.
Yes, yes, you do, because I love the show, and I was looking forward to speaking to you. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for taking time out and hanging out with me today. You are welcome. I hope you stay safe over there, because over here in New York, it's a war zone. <laughs> I know. Stay safe. Stay indoors. Don't go outside if you don't have to. Be careful.